Critics to any train or bus or bus, you know, whatever, they can go outside the city to the relatives or family, friends. So she, he would, that's the reason he put up the uh, district, Sendamati Chome, the, you know, Chome district. So people come to looking for relatives, oh, this is this, they know. So this man came to the evening, said that particular school uh, child, saying this, this address. Uh, district, I heard, but I can hardly de hear the name. She was saying, but I can't understand, I can hear. But I heard that this, my father said, anybody's child, maybe relatives come to look for. Let's go. That was his day, the evening. And then my, of course, my mother, they all day looking for me. Every place, the days were in the look like that. He came home, and he's so tired, and he just sit down. They heard, uh, even my father stopped. We were too tired, we were to get to the child. He said, maybe not, she gave up. You know, a mother's met line, she gave up, she gave up. They said, that's why I can tell this story. They know she told me how I was and everything. Okay, that's yeah, so, uh, so they look for, the mother looked for everywhere, wherever the shelters are, and then he, the father got the information about the possibility through her address, and then mother came over. Then, of course, I'm going to get to the house and I'm going to get to the house. How were you? How were you when the mother found you? No, not exactly my mother found you. That man came to the gate of the paper, they saw, she, he heard, and he told my father. And my mother couldn't find it, he came home, like, tired, but came with my father, and other people had a door or something, like a door or something, they came. She, she had a candle, everybody had a candle, said she gave all, she gave all. Many, the huge auditorium, like a dead fish stuck next to each other. Okay. Then she heard my very weak voice, here I am, here I am. Then she looked down and said, she couldn't recognize me. Because all my hair was in black and burning kinky dust. Then I have a lot of hair. Then I have lot of hair. So the cover the hair and my hair made safety my ear. You were to look up like this. The half forehead, you will know the child of the kind of hair. And the hair was so protected my head and the day that after they took me home, my father had to get surgery so that all my burn the hair. But that place black thing for them. So he, he had to cut all on my face. The PDO that underneath was a very thick uh, yellow pump, like an infection, you know, green pump infection, tied up. So day and night, no medication, nothing, no doctors, no nurse. So mother and father took the cooking oil, soybean oil, in any kind of material turn, and it's salt to wash off. They get a pop. They have to do all the that. No medication, no clean thing. Okay. Yeah, how how why why were you able to walk from that point over to there? Why I went there? 
garment touch, was touching her skin, and then that was burned. Okay, then she sustained the burn. So that's very instantaneous. And then these are probably close to what she was wearing, something like that. Okay. Then. Well, those people are older class people. Those time, my sister was like that to go to the China, right. outside the city to, to helping the this is army just a, things. In the aftermath of uh, yeah. the clay, right. I think the clay in the ocean. Okay. Then, uh, so she miraculously well, survived. And then after tender care of her family members, she recovered and regained strength in about six months or so. So beginning of 1946, uh, she was able to walk and go in the hot springs. Her families took her to a Kyushu area for hot springs. And I won't say touched it. Okay, then, in the interest of time after that, 1954, 55, about 10 years later. 1955, I think. Yeah, Five. right. The, the Reverend Hanimoto and the Norman Cousins and the journal, American journalist, scholar, uh, raised enough fund to bring 25 Japanese girls to America for plastic surgery. And she was selected to be a, one of them. And so that's the beginning of her life in human connection to an American art. And so that's her. Yeah, we first we arrived in America. The Red Cross people giving uh, snacks and drinks. And somebody gave it to me flour. That, is, that day. So how, what did Nansaka, how, she, 23? 23, 23. 10 years after. So that's a while of your apologies. <coughs> next to be, next one. 23. Uh, so this is her, I'm the same picture. That's not her. And then, the what is it? Color. She's, a, she's a younger, younger than me. Okay. Uh, group of uh, about 17 to 28 or something. So they were, they are known as uh, Hiroshima Maidens in English. And this is another group picture. She's right here. So these are people. And most of them, after surgery, uh, most of them went back to Japan and never came back. Uh, Actually, everybody went back. Everybody went back. The one that did that. IPad, the, the, you know, the girl had an iPad. Uh -huh. She had an ad in California. So she get off from New York. We were on New York to California stuff, then go back to Japan. Okay. So she get get off California, her aunt at the house. That only person uh, stay in America. We go in home. And in the meantime, oh, during the operation time, a young, a one of that uh, girl had a during the operation died. <laughs> so the, <clears throat> in a group, some are more need operation, some are more light. So people finish the operation, half of it. They went to a home before, a couple months before, uh, last one. I was the last one. And uh, they took the uh, dead uh, bone in the in, 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 in box. They were all early. That's why few people are in here are in home. Now, most of people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. so after the surgery, went back, but before they left America, Norman Cousins asked her to see if she uh, wants to come back to America. And then eventually she did, and she was adopted into a cousin's family and they raised. Then after that, uh, so in the American side, she went nursing, hmm? nursery, nurse. School. Kangoshi no Gakkoi did. We became 
uh, before I came to America, I wanted to be a nurse, become a nurse. And uh, I had already accepted the work at uh, Japan and the hospitals. They're going to go. The first time and the project started, and then I came to America. That I told him, no, my cousin, when I go back to Japan, I will become a nurse. I like to be, take care of people. Because doing operation, and before I come to America, I had an operation in Tokyo. The nurses and doctors are so nice. Very, very important. And good nurse, good doctors for the patients. And I like to do that. He said he come back to America to make the work. So she became assistant to a nurse and started work in New York, Mount Sinai? Mount Sinai, first Mount Sinai Hospital, because all the girls had Mount Sinai and the doctor was there, and the Mount Sinai Hospital gave us room, beds, and the free. Everybody, <coughs> donations, and helping the free, volunteers, nurses, volunteers, doctors, volunteers. You know, people so care that a lot. That's why we can able to have a good operation, and a good life in America, and went home. And she also worked in Boston area, Massachusetts. Ah. In Boston. Ah. Then she moved to LA area. Ah. Uh, in 1962, she gave a birth to a boy. Mm -hmm. no. No one. Then, ah. since then, she has been living in LA and sometimes ah. talking about money. Nowadays, very frequently, talking about the story like this. Mm -hmm. So that's the story from the other side. Thank you. And that's enough to read all of this here. Anybody have questions from the hand out? Anything? I'll be glad to answer for you. Anybody has a question? No, question. Yeah, yeah. I deliberately did not ask her a question, so let's go ahead. I, I have a question. How the 25 women were chosen from all the other people? How did Dr. Cousins choose? Eh, to ne, I, let's see. 25 women were chosen from all the other people. I did ask her there before. Okay, they interviewed a series of series of girls, but they made some sort of announcement, and then they came. Then made a series of interviews and a diagnosis to see if it's operable or not. Because those are the criteria. And young, my young, young female. Uh, why? 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 Well, how? Do it. Do it. Do it. 25 people selected, right? The reasons. One is healthy enough to go another country. And then second, parents say okay. Even a person self want to go, but parents no permission. And three, people need really reconstruction uh, Plastic surgery. First so leg like uh, arm like this, keloid over here, took off. She was so happy. She said, I can do this now. I can stretch my arm. And like me, I had a burn in my neck, uh, so severe because I was looking up. So my chin and the chest uh, was all about taking it. See the all the keroid there. See I you see? They took off. He somebody really 
need the reconstruction plastic surgeon. That is another reason. That only me in my arm. Uh, some, uh, you ask me how to pick the people. So some are like that, and some are married to me. You know, different. I'm sorry, my English is bad. <laughs> sorry. How were you able to accept Americans after what you had been through? アメリカっていう国に対してどう思いますかアメリカを受けるという経験はなんかちょっとどうかちょっとどうかその現場としてはどう思いますかアメリカに対してどう思いますかえー、オッケーあじゃあじゃあ、I like that first of all we are scared the Soviets end of the war but we are still scared maybe so they come they, because the Japan school teaches the children, American soldiers are monster. When you see, kill you, things like that, put in your head. So after the soldiers started coming, we escaped hiding. Then one night, raining day, storm day, my nearby the, the wood bridge was on the uh, river. So the other side had a, a, a American soldiers camp there. Night, two uh, soldiers knocking door. Of course, my father opened the. So we are scared. And we are just hiding. And, ah, soldiers, you know, we are scared. Some reason my father don't speak English, but he knew. They want to go back to the camp, but the bridge is up. Oh, so he took, he, my father had a boat, so took them to the cross to the other side. They came home. Next day, sunny day, they came to my jeep, brought to the, I remember the food, so like butter, flour, bread, milk, whatever. Lots of it. Thank you for my father did it. Then smiling, nice. And I was standing and watching what they are doing. Then he looked at, he said, he said, mom, it was probably said that you don't understand English. My father said, like, not, not in and then she put the, I remember she gave to me chewing gum or something in the head. Probably he said sorry or something, but I don't understand him anyway. Then every day he comes with friends, bring food, the things, and then give it to me candy for me and stuff like that. And then no, no scared that he's sorry and smiling and nice man. <laughs> And pretty soon three four soldiers they come. My mother makes Japanese food, stuff.